Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be showing you how to put the GC3 into learn mode. Now, just to kind of go over what learn mode is, learn mode is when the system goes into a mode and it listens for RF frequencies that are going at 345 megahertz. So this is usually whenever you're trying to learn in wireless sensors. The 2 gig GC3 works with 2 gig sensors and Honeywell sensors. Right? They both use 345 megahertz frequency, so you can use either Honeywell or 2 gig wireless sensors. Now, to get into learn mode, you do need the installer code. So make sure you have the installer code. Um, you can ask your company for it. If it's a brand new GC3, the default installer code is 1561, and that's what I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to show you guys two ways to get into the wireless zone programming. That's Actually, the only time you really need to put the panel in learn mode is whenever you're learning in wireless sensors. So this is going to help you guys. For those of you out there that are learning in wireless sensors, if it's your first time, this video is going to help you guys out. So go ahead and wake up the screen. There you go. So this is our home screen here. Now, the first option I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is the quickest one. You're just going to hit the two gig icon in the very top right. It's going to bring you to enter your code to access installer toolbox. I'm going to enter in my installer code. So that's going to be 1561. That's going to take us to our installer toolbox page. After that, we just have to hit system configuration. We go into wireless zones because that's where the learning mode is. And then if you if this is a brand new system, you can obviously just hit zone, go to zone one and hit edit zone. If you guys have existing sensors and uh, you know your first 20 zones are taken up, you can scroll or scroll down using these arrow keys. Usually you can also just press and um, let's say I do zone 16. Um, I can go ahead and hit edit zone after that. And uh, once I'm in edit zone, you need to go to serial number. And once you're in serial number, this is where you're going to see the learn function. If you press learn, it says it's going to start listening. Once you set off that motion, the door sensor, flood sensor, fire, smoke, CO, whatever it is you're learning in, if you, if you um, for instance, a door sensor, I would put the magnet next to the sensor, separate them, and then that would hear or that would listen for the RF frequency that's being sent, the transmission signal that's being sent from the signal. It picks up on the serial code. You can actually match the serial code or the serial number with what you see right with whatever comes up and whatever populates up on the screen. Let me just go ahead and hit cancel. So that's the first way. Um, let me show you guys the second way. Ready to arm. So the quickest and easiest way is to hit that two gig icon in the top right. But you can also do this by going into system settings. You enter in, um, again, it's easier if you enter in your installer code. So I would enter in 1561. From there, one moment. There you go. I, I scroll down. Sorry, it's not reading my button presses right now. Um, I scroll down and I go to installer toolbox, then system configuration again, wireless zones, etc. Now, again, I showed you guys how to do it. You guys can just go to edit zone, serial number, learn, and it goes into listening mode. Now, just because you go into listening mode, it's only learning in the serial number. You guys still have to mess or, or edit the rest of the sensor. So you guys have to let it know what sensor type it is. You guys, um, if you guys are using partitions, you want to let it know what smart area. That's what 2 gig calls partition smart areas, what smart area it's in. Um, you want to make sure you set the loop number to the correct one. Now, there's one thing that I want to show you guys. System disarmed. If you guys disarmed. do not use the correct code, uh, well, this first one's very noticeable, right? If I enter in, let's say my master code, the code that you use to arm and disarm, it's going to show you guys invalid code. However, if you go to your system settings, just to enter settings, you can use your installer code or master code. So like, let's say I use my master code here, but then 
if I try to go to Installer Toolbox, since I use my master code to go into the settings, that's the only code it has in its memory right now. So if I go to Installer Toolbox, remember that needs your installer code. Before, when I used the installer code to enter into settings, I hit the toolbox and it went right in. So just because you have your master code will not let you into the installer toolbox. You do need to have the installer code, which mine is 1561. And obviously yours could be different. So that is just a quick video on how to get the GC3 into a learning mode. That way you can learn in wireless sensors. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can email us at support at alarmgear.com. If you guys found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new video, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.